Contrary to the most popular belief that fear is your enemy, fear is a mental prison, fear is a mental killer, you should run away from the fear. You should hate that feeling. I believe that fear is your friend. You're afraid because of a cause, because there is something that is happening inside you. There is some danger that your mind is perceiving. There is some threat to your identity that your subconscious mind is perceiving. Now, rather than running away from your fear, I would suggest you to go deeper inside and know this fear. Try to understand the cause of why you are being afraid. Why are you feeling afraid? What is the cause, root cause of this fear? Because in my opinion, every uh, behavior, every emotion that you're feeling has a positive intention behind. Every behavior is driven by a positive intention, no matter how destructive the behavior may look like. Your fear has a reason. If you're afraid because of the situation going on all around the world and you're feeling afraid, it's completely okay. Your mind is trying to preserve you, is helping you to survive, is helping you to uh, preserve your integrity. So rather than hating this fear, I would like you to practice something called radical acceptance. Accepting yourself as a whole with the parts, no matter how destructive they seem, no matter how bad they look like, no matter how much you are told that you should hate your fear and you should not be afraid. So try to understand your fear Try to know it as if you are trying to know a person for the first time. Be curious, get curious and try to understand the part that is afraid in you. And ask questions like, why do you feel afraid? What is it that you are afraid of, you know, might happen? Do not run away from it because running away is not a solution. It never was. In my experience and in my opinion, I see the experiences that every one of us you know, has as being the essential messages from the inside to out. There is nothing like you know, um, a bad response or a negative response or a reaction. It is just the messages that your inner self, your inner um, mental pattern is trying to convey. So again, I would emphasize on radically accepting yourself, accepting your fear, trying to understand why you're afraid. What are you afraid of? But at the same time, I would like to emphasize on the point that do not let others exploit you because of the fear, because you're afraid. Do not let others send across the messages that could trigger your fear and they could use your response in their favor. The messages, you know, in the form of news, your the social media that you consume every day, the gossip and the stuff that is going around, that is what can trigger your fear and those who trigger it know how, what to do with your response. It's similar to the narcissistic dynamic. It's similar to the narcissist triggering your vulnerabilities and then using your responses against you. So practice self-compassion. Try to understand yourself at a deep and a thorough level because invalidating your emotions is not going to do any good at all. I hope this gives you uh, this video or if you are hearing this on podcast, it gives you a different perspective into understanding your fear responses and it helps you to see a little into what the possibility of your feeling might be. I will talk with you soon again in the next video or the podcast. Till then, let the healing begin.